goats are definitely characters of their own. All the grassland, there's probably about a little over 200 acres of open ground with mainly just grasses and stuff. And then there's probably about 300 acres with the woods. And we haven't even gotten over all the woods yet. <laughs> there's a lot left to do. We probably got over, I would say, maybe 150 of it with the goats so far. Like this tip right here was one that was clipped off last fall and winter time during the winter there'll be zero leaves on these but they'll still go around and clip all the tips off of these with the thorns and all they'll eat them they're a lot more intelligent i think than people realize this is andrea like his name's andrea <laughs> <laughs> our breeds of goats are a little bit of everything i would say our first year grazing too our goats um it took them some learning like how to graze they, they, they came from a confinement um, operation, so they weren't um, grazing. So once we got them into paddocks, they kind of just like, I don't know, they didn't really eat like they were supposed to. We couldn't to. even get, get them out of the yard. Yeah, I mean, it was like <laughs> pulling teeth to get them to come out of, the, to, to the, out of the yard right away. We saw a lot of hoof issues our first year just due to them being fed grain in confinement, and that has already tremendously uh, dropped. Just from year one to this year, we've seen a humongous difference in their overall health. Now that we um, started managing our goats this way, we really don't see the, the health issues as much as we used to. Ever since starting the cell grazing, it's life has been a lot easier. And the observations we've been making with our soil health and everything, by kind of tightening them up and increasing the stocking densities, we're seeing that they're not being as selective and they'll eat more of the plants that we don't want them or that we don't want around and it's allowing for more diverse species to come up on account of it and laying carbon down and letting the place where they've been have enough rest and recovery before we come back to allow us to actually put some carbon down and keep the soil covered and keep the biology there and infiltrate more water and so on and so forth. One other management thing that's different is the water requirements for goats is tr like significantly less than any other animal. Goats, maybe we have about 80 nannies out here and they'll maybe go through 15 gallons in two days. Goats are a lot less labor intensive. That way you don't have to bring as many supplies for that part of it, so to speak, like the water and everything. And you can get in a lot more remote areas and not have to worry about bringing water to them like if you don't have water lines all over your whole farm or ranch or whatever you have. Goats are an easy livestock to manage as far as taking care of them. So, I guess our long-term goals with the goats is build a resilient herd that doesn't need much maintenance on. Basically getting rid of the wormy goats and build off of the worm resistant ones that we do have and just have an overall clean healthy herd and basically just if you're interested in goats and you really want to do it, just go out and get some. Just start doing it. You'll learn as you go. We have a YouTube channel and I guess you can hit the like and subscribe button over here. We do have meat goats available coming in the fall. and Just send us an email.